What's up guys? You've been high here and uh you're looking at my desktop right now. Of course, you're looking at my computer displaying my desktop. Not actually my desktop. And that's the best Brendan in the background. I almost just said Brendan, just Brendan. Uh you might hear him in the background talking to um well himself. Um I, I'm recording videos no, on my YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure he's schizophrenic actually. But anyway, we are going to be <laughs> we're gonna be installing Crunchbang Linux. Um because I've got Ubuntu running right here and I love Ubuntu. But um if I come into my home folder and I show you see my home folder is practically empty. Uh, you know, I go into documents, there's only like a little bit of stuff for like video resources, you know, I got music and um, this is my legal disclaimer for my Minecraft Let's Plays. Sorry, I keep uh, I keep tightening my uh, tilt because it looks like my camera is about to just fall down um, on my my tripod. But if I if I right click and go into properties, um, you'll see it says I only have 5.4 gigabytes free of, uh, of free space, right? So that's not that's not good, um, and that reason. Or the the reason for that is not because I need to clean stuff up, as you guys saw. I mean, I don't have many files. I only have a few <clears throat> a few packages and whatnot. That's because uh, this is what I call my secondary Linux, and I've been using it as my primary for a little bit of time now, uh, because my regular primary, although it's now my secondary Linux, well doesn't work very well. Let's just go with that. And man, I still sound like Captain Sparkles. I tried to record I tried to record a Minecraft let's play and uh pretty much you know, just to back everything up, um my hard drive ran out of space. And so I had to cut the recording and, you know, it, it couldn't encode. And yeah, it was it was not good. So we need to reinstall my primary. Um now I'm, I would go for um, Zorin OS, which, again, I mentioned in uh, my first Minecraft Let's Play episode. Um, I would go for that, except I've tried to re... <clears throat> sorry, I tried to reinstall it, and, well, <laughs> it, uh, yeah, doesn't work very well. It still has a lot of problems, even though it's a fresh installation. Um, for example, Caden Live doesn't run very well. Uh, that's not... There we go. Kane the Live doesn't run very well. Record my desktop doesn't run very well. Minecraft runs just fine. I mean, I can record. The first uh, episode was recorded in, in Zorin, but everything after that was just absolutely impossible. That's why it was so late, because I couldn't um, I couldn't Sorry get it edited. Time, you yeah, you're going to have to grant me the rights to the audio that you're using in that video. Just so that I can put this under a Creative Commons license. You said I wouldn't grant me the right. But anyways, um, so I'm going to install Crunchbang, which is based off of Debian, which I always thought it was built off of Arch because I, at first I thought it was Archbang. Yeah, I, th I, I don't know why I thought that, but I have a sneaking suspicion that the person I was watching that first introduced me to it uh, might have been British. So that that might be why, because they kind of say things. Uh, well, in in an accent that isn't, you know, what most Americans are used to, but that's uh, that's Americans' faults, not not the British. Um, I love British people. Anyway, so I'm going to install Crunchbang. Um, I was having a little bit of problems with my live USB um, in terms of performance. Like one time, it, it just didn't boot at all, um, and then like it hung, and uh, then it was just kind of running a little yeah, bit slow. That's why I don't use iMovie. It just but, crashed on me. Um, Apparently, iMovie just crashed on Brendan over there. Um, apparently, he's he's trying to uh, edit a video because it was taking really long to uh, upload to YouTube, so he wanted to edit it down just a little bit. Um, anyway, that's why you don't use raw video. <laughs> Speaking of using raw video and not using raw video, I'm not using not going to use raw video. Obviously, I'm going to uh, jump cut or fast forward. I don't really know which one I'm going to do yet. Um, the installation process, but I have 30 minutes on this camera, and it's now down to 24 minutes, so we should probably get started. Um, so it should catch everything. It shouldn't take it shouldn't take half an hour really. 
um, since it is uh, relatively small. The, the great thing about CrunchBang, and I'm just going to plug it in and start, start booting. Um, the great thing about CrunchBang is the fact that it's really small and it's really, really fast. So here it just comes up with now tell us. We're just going to go ahead and close it. Uh, i gotta, I got to learn to look at the screen and not the screen of the camera. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and restart the computer. I'm in a very awkward position right now. I probably can't get a picture of the position I'm in, but... Yeah, I'm in an awkward position. The tripod is right in between me. Or, not right in between me, but it's right in front of me, so I had to scoot my chair back. Um, and yeah, it just it wasn't fun. So Ubuntu is going to shut down, and uh, my most recent installation of Zorin actually um, helped my Ubuntu uh, boot better um, because it reinstalled the uh, the bootloader and so now it, it boots or Ubuntu boots faster so you can see the tripod right here the camera is pointing downward because I couldn't get it low enough um, anyway so I'm gonna go to USB HDD PNY and you can't actually install from the live <clears throat> sorry from the live session and I don't really want to touch on the live session right now um, I can do a review later on, so I'm just going to go right to the installation. Uh, and it cuts the screen right there. That was actually unexpected. Oh, never mind. Okay, it is going to display some text. Um, and it's going to start in a uh, kind of a different screen resolution, a smaller screen resolution, which I'm not sure I quite like, but uh, we'll go with it. And So we're going to choose our language. It's actually better for the recording. I do, of course, speak English, so continue. Uh, choose your location. Despite what I said at some point in the night, I do actually live in the United States. I, I chose Algeria for some reason. All right, going to continue. American English for my keyboard. Continue. Now it's going to detect the hard drive and the CD-ROM, and it's going to mount them um, to confirm that... Or I guess it's mounting the USB, technically. It's supposed to be booted off of a... Uh, uh, CD, but uh, like I said, I'm using live USB, so. Oh, uh, apparently these batteries were not completely charged. I'm just, I'm passing a little bit of a look over to Brendan just to let him know. My mom says they're fully charged. Okay, I might have, I might just have my configuration on my camera incorrect or something, I don't know. Um, I had to replace the batteries on my camera, be and I, I had this pack of double A's. Uh, an A pack of double A's. My camera takes uh, four, four double A's, um, and I tried to use those, and it just instantly crashed on me. And then I read on the package, and I still have it right there, for low drain. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think this camera is low drain. <coughs> All right, so configure the network. We're gonna enter our host name, which is just basically our computer name. We're gonna name it Ben Dash Crunchbang. And we'll just go with that. Go ahead and click continue. Set up users. Uh, um, okay. Uh, user, full name for the user. Okay, Ben. Hi, of course. Go ahead and continue. My user account will be Ben. And I'll go ahead and put in my password. I had to look there to make sure that it wasn't, um, wasn't changing. Or, or not what not changing, but it wasn't showing my password. Uh, set the clock, I'm in central time, which means it's like 3 in the morning or something right now. Alright, so it's going to detect the disks, and I'm going to check the time real quick. It's going to detect the disks, and I'm going to detect the time. Alright, and it's going to load the components required, and start the partitioner. Detect the file systems. And uh, we could use the entire disk, except for the fact that we can't, because I need Windows. So we're going to go for manual here, and this is going to be fun. And by fun, I mean it's going to be absolutely horrifying. All right, so we're going to continue, and here you can see my advanced hard drive configuration. Uh, let me walk you through, shall I? Um, this 16.1... Gigabytes um, looks to be NTFS, so that would be my Windows recovery partition. This is my secondary Windows recovery partition. There we go. Um, and then the 
third here, which is 213.2 gigabytes, yeah, uh, would be my Windows uh, bootable partition. And number seven here, um, which would be uh, SDA7, I believe. I think I got that right. Um, this is 15.6, so that tells me that that would be my Ubuntu partition, which is the Linux that we want to keep. The next one down is 73.2 um, gigabytes, and it is number 5, and I had worked with number 5 uh, a little while ago, and I know by the uh, size on that uh, partition that that would be Zorin, because I installed it in a 75 or so gigabyte um, area. And then right below that, um, which we don't even really need to talk about, because it says right there, swap. Um, well, that's my Linux swap area. So, um, what we're going to do is come to here, and uh, I guess we just double click. We need to, yeah, double click. Okay, cool. Use as... Uh, we're going to use that as the ext4 journaling file system. And uh, format the partition. Yes, format it. We want to format that. Uh, mount regular root system. Uh, the mount options, I don't think it says bootable, no. Um, bootable flag, we're going to turn that on. Okay, well, you know what, we're going to trust the installer and keep that off. Go ahead and go back again. Yes, and we want to confirm absolutely everything. Alright, done setting up the partition. And uh, if we come to here... Yeah, alright, it already, it already uses our existing swap area as swap, which is fantastic. Uh, means we don't have to have two different swaps um, for different operating systems, so that's a plus. Um, now this, it shouldn't be touching. Right, okay, do not use. Fantastic. Um, I think, hmm, number two here might be Grub, actually, the, the bootloader. Alright, and that says format. Oh, that, that means bootable. Okay, so that must be Grub. Alright. So we'll go ahead and finish partitioning and write the changes to the disk. Uh, yeah, use number 5 as the XT4 and format. Uh, do we need a format swap? Oh, no, it doesn't really matter because it'll be swap. I'll write the changes to disk. Yes. Alright, so we'll go ahead and write those changes to the disk. And it's going to automatically start installing because we told it where we want to uh, install the distribution so now comes the long part of installing so yeah this is this this is likely to take a little while so I might cut uh, like jump cut uh, or don't really even know what I'm going to do, but uh, either way, we're going to let this go ahead and do its thing. Alright, so now it's uh, configuring apt or aptitude, or really depends, I guess it's, it's technically apt, really. Um, it's the package manager, uh, the way to get packages, uh, or software, just software. Uh, a thought came to mind, actually, which you might have caught that uh, I was kind of confused there from my hard drive configuration, you know, what flag was on what partition, but I got to thinking, if that 100 megabyte partition was Grub, and it was set to bootable, where is Crunchbang going to install its Grub? Because I don't think I... Okay, well, now it's gonna, it's, it looks like it kind of, sort of knows what it's doing. I don't think it's looking for any other, it might be looking for other stuff. Um, I don't actually have it connected to the internet right now. Oh, there it is, it's looking for other operating systems, okay. 
Uh, I don't have it connected to the internet right now because, as you guys saw, there was literally no way to do that. Um, I think I still have my cursor. Oh, I don't have my cursor. Oh, yeah, I do. Um, the following other operating systems have been detected on this computer. Windows Vista, which it means Windows 7. Windows Vista, again, it means Windows 7. Ubuntu 12.10. If all of your other operating systems are listed above, then it should be safe to install to the bootloader. To the install the bootloader to the master boot record of your first hard drive, which is my only hard drive. Uh, when your computer boots, you'll be <coughs> able to choose to load one of these operating systems or your new system. Okay, that didn't make any sense. Uh, install the grub bootloader to the master boot record. Uh, yes. This is actually, I believe, the second one here, I believe that would be um, my recovery, um, since apparently my computer has a strange recovery that, uh, yeah, it, it, I was a little confused there on the partitioner, but it's kind of making sense. Um, so yeah, we can go ahead and install Grub to the master boot record, because these are the only, technically two, but it displays as three. Um, operating systems installed so we're going to go ahead and click yes and go ahead and push continue so now it's going to go ahead and configure uh, grub as my master boot record on SDA which would be just the hard drive itself not even in a partition I believe now it's gonna just quickly update the grub make sure that uh, it knows everything that it's doing it's much like updating a repository for any other Linux users out there, I guess. Um, because, again, I'm not connected to the internet right now. Because, again, there was no way to get connected to the internet. So it's just really quickly going to refresh itself. And, uh... Looks kind of stuck. Alright, so the operating system is still sort of maybe running? Okay. Well, either way, I will... Nope. Oh, there we go. So it's going to set up my user. Um, and the username, by the way, for those of you that are using this for a guide to installing CrunchBang, first of all, you should be using a different video. Um, second of all, the password that you set is going to be your <coughs> root password, um, at least in order to access root uh, functions through the sudo command. I went on the, uh, I went on the CrunchBang forums and great people over there by the way i highly recommend you go check that place out because those people over there are fantastic um i went over to the crunchbang forums and asked you know what do i need to know to get from ubuntu to crunchbang um and they just said you know it um it uh is based off of debian so okay i, I gotta s turn over here can you put that on the... It's that, YouTube, down, okay. down, down. It's YouTube down. capture. When you scroll down from the top, it shows that cute little kitty cat. Um, Brendan, that's a fox. Oh. Uh, oh, is that a reference to what does the fox say? I have no idea, but it's probably. That would be a fennec fox, though. I think the uh, fox they were talking about in the fox song is going to be um, a red fox. Anyway, it's telling us that the installation is now complete. That didn't take very long. I'm still on one video, by the way. So, it is time to boot into your new system. Well, that's friendly. I, I, I can go with that. Make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into the new system rather than restarting the installation, because that would be kind of tragic. Uh, I can keep it in there, I think. Oh, never mind. No, I don't want to keep it. Or, I don't want to pull it out. I was thinking I was going to pull it out there, and I was like, okay, yeah, I can do that. No, you don't want to do that, because it's not done yet. So it's really quickly going to unmount, and then it's going to kill all processes. So it's going to go ahead and start booting. We have our Acer logo, very nice. Grub is now loading. Welcome to Grub. Oh, fantastic. All right, so it did actually name the Windows recovery environment as such. Um, however, it did put it above the actual windows on the list, which I'm not quite sure why Wait, it did that, um, but uh, it can be adjusted. We also have uh, Ubuntu and 
Also, we have two versions of Ubuntu. That's uh, that's a problem that was introduced when I first reinstalled Zor. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and boot into CrunchBang so that my fan can stop running. I can go ahead and pull this out. Boop. I need a video editor that can do what I need to do. Also, guys, if you have a video editor that you think is a very good video editor, then uh, go over to the best of Brendan and like send him a message or leave him a comment because he's looking for a video editor. Okay, I, what I need is a video editor where I can put, for especially for portrait videos, I can have the portrait screen in the middle, on the sides have a nice, neat background with background images, like examples of the game, like for what I'm doing right now, like for the casual portrait games that I have, mm -hmm. that I'll play, I don't have Sony Vegas, so I can't really do that. Yeah, I'm not actually surprised that you don't have Sony Vegas, a lot of people don't. Um, because it's like $600. That's outrageous. All right. Um, yeah. Without further ado, we are running out of time. I only have three and a half minutes. So um, right here on the startup uh, screen or the login screen, you can see it's very simplistic. I don't even have my cursor initialized yet. Um, it's going to ask for my username because it is for uh, intermediate users. I didn't say that. Uh, my username is, of course, Ben. And uh, my password that nobody knows except for my sister. My sister knows it. And my dad knows it. I knew it at one point, but I forgot it. Good, because you don't need to know it. And now, in just a second here, whenever our bar comes up... Correction, it's $80 for Movie Studio Platinum. I didn't say Movie Studio Platinum. Or it's a party Sony, Ve Sony Vegas. Oh. Well, either way, here we are. And, uh, oh, we get a post-installation script. I forgot about this. Um, it's like a welcoming script that um, you can run, and I think it will be... Presented with a series of options, you will need your password, or your administrator, or pseudo password. Um, so please have it ready. You also need a working internet connection. All right, so we're actually going to do that later because I don't want Brendan to have to say his Wi-Fi password out loud on camera. All right, so um, I, I guess I'll run this installation script um, at a later date. It says if you do not want to run this script now. You can run it at a later date, of course, by entering the command cb-welcome in your terminal. You guys can't see any of this because, well, now it's all in small text, and you guys can't really read that, and I don't really want to zoom in because my lens locked up last time. But anyway, that is it, guys. Uh, go ahead and push Q. That's it. You have CrunchBang installed on your computer. Again, this isn't really supposed to be a tutorial, but if you happen to have such an advanced uh, computer architecture <laughs> uh, as I do um, then yeah I mean that would be that would be how you do it so Zorn is now gone Ubuntu is still around Windows 7 is still around and we now have Crunchbang Linux installed on like a 70 something gigabyte uh, area of my hard drive uh, if you want to just play around for or play around with it uh, maybe install it for yourself. I'll have a link in this video's description going right to Crunchbang, Crunchbang's website. And uh, Brendan just showed me that there is now a cat on the YouTube. Yep. Focus. Meow. No, they get the idea. They well, get the idea. Well, it's a cat. It's a wonderful little cat. Well, it's not a fennec fox anymore, so, I mean, it's a little bit less mischievous. Hashtag things people wouldn't guess. I believe it randomizes it every single time you launch the app. Most likely. All right, guys. Again... Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, maybe favorite. If you uh, have something to say, comment. Again, it should not be used as a tutorial as Brendan drops his iPad, iPod. Um, this should not be used as a tutorial, so I'm not going to guarantee that anything that I just did worked for you, or would work for you, but it worked for me. Thank you guys for watching again. My name is Lee Ben High, and I'll see you later.